what's up what's up what's up so I came here today was looking a bit chilly I woke up um, at 3 and it was raining like hell I was about to go for a hike um, for a sunrise hike unfortunately it was raining so it's kind of a chilly day and spending the whole day indoors so so doing what we all do best i went back to sleep and i just woke up so we're gonna have uh, breakfast it's 12 45 so You know what they say breakfast is the most important meal of your day so you know how people do viral sequences like they say handheld so just imagine doing it one handheld so don't blame my barrel all right so hello what is up people so today i was gonna go for a sunrise hike as i told you and uh, unfortunately i woke up to a downpour so I couldn't make it to go today well um so I stayed in so today we're gonna talk a little bit more about me yes that's my day today so uh, more about me so I'm from Kenya some of you already know that and uh, so you can call me Simon you can call me Kim all of those are like so um, I do like art that's one thing about me I like art like a lot of of course and um, so very soon I'll start showcasing my art on this platform so for those for those of you who have not subscribed yet uh, please make sure to do so and um, actually from right now we'll launch um, the new segment we have a new segment coming up sketching with kim yeah new segment so i'm very much fascinated about specifically architecture especially hungarian architecture if you are if you were to ask me and uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing i'll not drop many spoilers on it uh but we're gonna be sketching hungarian architecture so yay so basically a little bit more about myself um so very few people know what happened to my arm as you can tell so yay here we go so i was about i would say 11 years old um i was working back at our farm back in kenya and uh, so, mostly my brother and I, and yes, I have a bigger brother, ladies, I have a bigger brother. So my brother and I used to work together, mostly, and but this time we had to share duties. And so he left me in, uh, we have this certain machine called uh, the shaft cutter. Basically, you put fodder in, slices in, into small pieces, and then, you know, you can make silos. For those of you who do dairy farming, you would probably know about it. And so that's what I was doing. And so accidentally, I put my hand in and uh, basically got chopped off into small pieces until the end of my wrist. So I basically put off the machine by myself after a little bit of shock, as you would understand. 
and um, yeah I was rushed to the hospital so basically what had happened is that it cut my arm into small pieces uh, until to a point where it could not like they could not fall off because of the bone you know so there was a hanging hanging human flesh from my arm and um, so I was rushed to the hospital so for those of you who are Kenyans on 12th of December we have um, it's like it's a national holiday it's 12th December jump holiday so basically the hospitals yeah there were people working at the hospital but it was a holiday you would understand back then and um, so many health offices were not working at the time so I had to wait for like um, how long was it almost uh, seven hours I had to wait for almost seven hours to be attended to so they basically kept adding bandages on top of my arm uh, my bleeding arm layer of bandages and I was bleeding a lot like it was terrible and I became so weak <laughs> I was still in shock as you would understand and um, so luckily at around 9 we arrived there around 3 p.m. and uh, at around 9 30 10 I was taken transferred to another hospital a private one and uh, directly went to surgery so I woke up feeling the worst I've ever felt in my lifetime and um, from there on I knew uh, of, of course more was coming like more tragedy in terms of pain and all but from then on I knew that my life had changed basically so I was a uh, right-handed by then and had to change to being left-handed many things I had to you know adopt and learn I'm still learning even uh, 10 years later I'm still learning to do most of the things yeah it's still it's an ongoing learning process it never ends so that was it basically so I had to undergo like three surgeries within a span of how long was it three months yeah within a span of three months I had to undergo um, three surgeries so it was kind of hectic I became so weak and when I left the hospital of course I had to adapt and uh, thank God because I was able to adapt so well and here I am now and uh, that's a blessing for sure and uh, so too much about myself and that's what actually did happen and that's why I'm 100 I'm a uh, right handed right hand amputee as you would say so tomorrow guys um hopefully the weather behaves uh we'll i'll take you guys on a sunrise hike um well i mean it's been like long i've only done it once and considering the the time it is so we'll, i'll have to wake up very early because the sun rises up very early the sun rises very early so I'll have to wake up very early so yeah so stick in there and uh, subscribe for those, for those of you who haven't and um, I will take jokes so guys I will take your questions your comments just leave them below so I can have a look at them and um, with that I'll see you in the next video so take care